I like the oblique angle of that shadow coming down the street. I've also got some obliques of the roof lines. I got the uh, that kind of octagon shaped white building. There's an oblique coming down from the tile roof on the left hand side. I like the telephone poles. I like the uh, transformers, the wires, and all of the traffic on the street. People, I'm going to put suggestions. I'm not really going to paint people. I'm going to just put a little blobs of color that can be interpreted as people. Because this is a very small eighth of a sheet painting, so I really can't get too detailed. I'm trying to get the flavor and the colors of this area. So this is a piece of 140 pound Fabriano Artistico cold pressed paper. I've got it taped down at a slight angle and I'm using just a very, very soft office pencil to do a very preliminary sketch. Now, it's my intention to exaggerate the angles. It's an old town, so I'm not making everything look very plumb. Because if it does, it's just not going to lend itself to the, the feel we're trying to get. Here's a bush coming out behind that pole collar, a telephone pole. Right there, that oh, corner. The first building. That first building. And this kind of comes up like so. It comes down. Like that. Now back here, there's another building. It's got a sign sticking out. It's got a banister. Like what so. That's a bush. That's that green bush behind that telephone pole. I'm just, I'm just, yeah, I'm just oh, suggesting right now where things are going to be. So when you do these things, at least the way I do it, I don't try to get too, yeah, too detailed. I'm just trying to, I have to have some idea where I'm going with it. This just gives me a little idea where the shapes are. Now this building is not like so. I'm deliberately exaggerating the roof line. I really let bus leads, it's kind of noisy. Very strong oblique with the road is. There's also a very strong oblique shadow right there. Drawing your eye into the composition, too. It pulls you right up in there, right in here, to be my center of interest. Now, this building is very, rather unusual. It's almost an octagon. It has a little pediment on top. And again, there's telephone poles back here, there's transformers on these poles. Unusual architectural features, big uh, bases on these columns. You pick out what you want, exactly. It's not necessary to paint at all. What's necessary, there's a big pole right there, a big telephone pole. Let's put that guy in there because that's going to be a real neat place with a few signs. There's lots of signs over here. What are these switches? Is that the end of the tile? That's, those little, that's the uh, rafters coming down. Out of the roof. Yeah. Now, yeah, the we're going to put a few people in here. When I do people, I just do them as suggestions. They're too little to really get into a lot of detail. These are just suggestions of people walking across the street. Maybe there's some people back in this area. And back here, I'm putting a palm. There's a palm. Back behind the building, you can't see it from here, but from the other angle, you can. And I'm putting that in there, so it really kind of picks up that flavor of the area. Yeah, that just kind of makes it a little bit more, uh, gives it more, 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 more life, exactly. So I've got a very strong light source, and what I like to do quite often is, uh, suggest where my light is by putting an arrow on the tape. That's just a reminder to me. So this is all going to be somewhere in the shadows. This right here is in the light. So if you look at this, everything kind of points to the spot right here where the people are, where this little uh, porch comes out. It's got some signs on it. So that's your center of interest. Right center of interest there. right in there. Mm -hmm. So this will be dark, darker, dark up under here. Then right in here you get this nice sunlight hitting the road and hitting the people. It gives, me an, it gives me a pretty good composition, which I think is going to work. And again, there's all kinds of uh, wires coming down, what have you. And there's doorways. So it's just a very uh, interesting variety of shapes. Again, we're not trying to get real 
real technical to shapes. They can be just suggestions of people, just suggestions of buildings, what have you. So I'm not doing real fine drawing, I'm just doing just a very, uh, it's almost like a sketch. With that in mind, now I can start laying in some colors. So I've got to make decisions. I'm going to start this on wet paper or dry paper. I think what I'm going to do on this is start on wet paper and tone a lot of this down and leave this area right in here predominantly white. So I can put some really strong colors in there. Then there'll be some rich darks up under here, darks under here, and so forth. So let me get a uh, blending brush here. I'm going to get a couple of these brushes way over here. 